What's going on, RC drivers? The other day, I put up a video on this F1 car here. It's a toy F1 car that I got at Costco. The, the company's name is Maisto. They're a good model company. And when I saw this, I thought it was pretty cool. And so I put it up on the channel and it's got almost 24,000 views, which is kind of wild. Was not expecting that. Literally just picked it up for my enjoyment and thought I'd share it with you guys. And I got a bunch of people asking if I could make it brushless and I've taken the transmission apart. Uh, the gears look a little sketchy in there. I don't know if they're going to hold up the brushless power. Uh, it does have a 380 size motor in it. So at least I know what I'm working with. So I, I might try to stuff something in there. And uh, for the few people that were like, why is a toy grade RC car on this hobby channel? Uh, because this is my channel. I'm having fun with it. That's what's going to happen. Uh, anyway, that project may or may not happen. Uh, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is the new Tamiya Hornet Evo. Uh, a bunch of people were saying that the rear end is narrower than the front end, uh, which is not the case with the stock tires. Uh, nine inches wide in the front and rear. Uh, it's when I put the aftermarket wheels on it, the offset was different. And uh, so it looked narrower in the rear, which it was. But anyway, Today's video is actually about some EcoPower stuff. EcoPower is available from A Main Hobbies. Uh, they've recently started uh, really expanding that lineup over there and wanted to get the word out. Asked if I'd tell you guys about it. So we're gonna do a quick little product spotlight video today. Um, not little, there's a couple of products that I gotta show you over here. Let's hit the bench and I'll show you. And here's the loot. Again, EcoPower is available from A Main Hobbies. Uh, these guys focus more on the different accessories, the support gear that you would need to go along with your car. Not so much aftermarket parts, but stuff like obviously batteries and tools and such. And these are some of the newer items that they've recently come out with. So let's take a look at it. Hopefully they're going to make some, you know, you'll see something here that maybe make your life easier when you're wrenching on your RC car stuff. Might as well start off with this cutting mat. And uh, I gotta tell you, I wish I knew I had this. I just literally pulled this stuff out of the box. But when I was cutting out the decals for that Hornet, this would have come in so handy. These are great. They're self-healing mats. Nice flat surface for you to go and, and cut your decals on. I was using a piece of cardboard and that hardly ever works out. But anyway, they also have their own hobby knife. Hobby knife is a hobby knife, but uh, if you're getting the mat, Maybe you want to go pick up one of these as well. And it does look like they give you some extra blades. I'm going to have links and uh, you know, prices down in the video description below for you. I couldn't memorize everything. I am human. But uh, anyway, let's move on here to some of the other stuff. They got a shock shaft plier set. It's actually a multi-tool set. So this here it does your shock shafts. It's also a crimper. Uh, I think it also holds shock bodies if you got to pull the cap off. It's got some screw gauges in it. So if you're not sure what size screw you have, you could drop it into these little channels here. Looks like it's got a ball link plier inside. And these are some sort of measuring holes. So maybe for screws. I don't know. They're not threaded. Usually they thread them. But anyway, looks like a very useful tool. And there's a lot of different styles of these out there. This one has a lot of functionality to it. Uh, they have a nut driver set, a portable seven piece nut driver set and a hex wrench set actually. These are really handy. Uh, as if you're going out on a trail or something like that, don't wanna bring a lot of gear with you. Uh, all the bits store in the handle. So it's nice, compact, and gives you everything that you need. So this one actually has uh, an 050 in it, which is good for the, the micro crawlers. A 1.5, a 2.0, and a 2.5, and then for nut driver, 405, 5.5, excuse me, and a 7.0. And it looks like the handle has got a pretty decent neural to it, so it should have some good grip. I think they've got a magnet inside there to help secure those bits. But uh, good for traveling. Definitely like that for traveling. But more for the workbench. If you're looking for something for the workbench, uh, they do have this tool set here. Got some composite plastic handles, uh, a 1.5, 2.0, and then nut drivers, 5.5, and a 7.0. So this is your basic metric set. So most RC cars, let's say Traxxas, Arma, you'll be able to use this set. Again, lots of tools out there. This looks like um, it might be spring steel by the color of that sh the, the tool bit. Not positive on that, but again, good looking set. Hardened steel tip, it says. 24 millimeter lightweight molded plastic handle. Good features for a tool set. Uh, into a motor spray. So if you're cleaning out your motors, uh, sometimes even cleaning bearings and such, uh, a small can of motor spray definitely comes in handy. Just part of their lineup. I think uh, some people are definitely going to be interested in this. This is a adapter plug that goes from an XT60 to an EC2. So for your micro or your, excuse me, your mini T, 
or your Mini B, your Mini Drag car, those small packs from Horizon, you'll be able to go and charge them up as long as you've got a separate balance port. Uh, you'll be able to charge them up on any XT charger. I'm excited about this because I can go and use this with my uh, high-tech charger. And obviously, you'll probably even use it with the EcoPower charger. And speaking of batteries and chargers, uh, if you're running a small crawler, this might be something interesting for you. Uh, let's say like something from FMS or Hobby Plus. Those things always have AAA batteries, and rather than going through just store-bought batteries, you get these uh, AAA rechargeables. Again, easy shopping here if you're out, you know, on the A-Man website going through this stuff, looking for some other, uh, you know, accessories and stuff. Uh, this is stuff that just might help you out. Uh, they also have AA batteries and then uh, AAA batteries in ultra alkaline. Back to the LiPo battery stuff, uh, they've got a LiPo sack. And then finally, here is a parch tray. It looks like they got a magnet for the bottom and little foam feet for it. But anyway, again, this is all just stuff that I wanted to show you guys. They asked me to just give you an update on some of the stuff that they're working on. And I do know that they're working on even more stuff for the lineup. So definitely keep an eye on EcoPower A-Main and uh, I'll do my best to keep you guys updated.